Good morning everyone. Today I am presenting an article reporting subclonal immunohistochemical staining of mismatch repair proteins in endometrial carcinoma in the times of ever changing guidelines. This study was done by Ashley et al. in the Department of Pathology and Obstetric and Gynecology, University of Tennessee Medical Center, Knoxville. The article is taken from journal Archives of Pathology and Laboratory Medicine and the article is published in year 2021. Introduction Screening of endometrial carcinomas by mismatch repair protein immunohistochemistry permits the detection of microsatellite instability phenotypes due to mutations in the MMR genes. These are MLH1, MSH2, MSH6 and PMS2. Loss of expression of one or more of the MMR proteins by ISC correlates with the MMR protein deficiency in approximately 95% of cases and may indicate the presence of Lynch syndrome associated germline limitation. The use of tumor immunohistochemical screening allows for guided genetic testing in patients deemed at risk of Lynch syndrome. Aim of the study The purpose of the study was to evaluate the clinical significance of reporting subclinical staining patterns of MMR protein IC in pathology reports from an academic institution with a large volume of endometrial carcinoma cases. Materials and methods The study conducted a retrospective review of all endometrial carcinoma cases from January 2012 through December 2017 at the University of Tennessee Medical Center. Any patients who underwent hysterectomy and had cases, uh, case slides available for review, including the MMR protein IC panel, was included in this study. Clinical pathological data, including patients' age, final pathological diagnosis, reported MMR proteins, IC status, and MLH1 promoter methylation testing results are collected from pathology reports. Personal and family history of carcinoma and Lynch syndrome genetic testing results were collected from medical records. Carcinoma history involving the gastrointestinal gynecological upper urinary, urinary pancreatic uh, biliary, biliary tract as well as brain and sebaceous glands was considered as Lynch syndrome associated tumor. MMR protein ICD evaluation Microscopic re-evaluation of tumor hematoxylin eosin strand slides and corresponding MMR proteins IC slides was performed. The presence of subclonal MMR protein staining defined as pro combined areas of retention and loss of nucleus staining, the MMR protein affected, the presence of complete loss of immunohistochemical staining of other MMR protein, if any, were recorded. They determined the morphological staining pattern of heterogeneity. Pattern 1 subclonal nucleus staining within glands. Pattern 2 complete loss of nucleus staining in a small subset of entire gland and pattern 3 complete loss of nucleus staining across large areas. Coming to results, subclonal staining MMR protein expression was seen in 48 of 455 endometrial carcinoma cases accounting for 10.5%. 30 of these cases displayed isolated subclonal staining of MMR proteins whereas 18 had subclonal staining in combination with complete loss of staining of other MMR protein. The cases showing isolated subclonal staining of MMR proteins were reported by pathologists as subclonal in 5 cases, complete loss of staining in 4 cases, and intact nucleus staining in 21 cases. Cases reported by pathologists as subclonal MMR protein expression. 5 endometrial carcinoma cases demonstrating isolated subclonal staining were reported as subclonal by pathologists. 3 involving MLH1, PMS2 and 2 involving MSH6 MMR protein. The 3 cases with subclonal loss of MLH1, PMS2 displayed loss of staining in the entire gland comprising between 10% and 40% of tumor area. 2 of these cases underwent MLH1 promoter methylation testing and 1 was found to be negative for MLH1 promoter methylation a result indicative of high probability of Lynch syndrome. Confirmatory genetic testing of Lynch syndrome was not performed on this case because of insurance or cost issues. The third case with subclonal staining 
of MLH1 PMS2 was sent for Lynch syndrome genetic testing without MLH1 promoter methylation testing was and was negative for Lynch syndrome. This is the image showing examples of different patterns of subclonal mismatch repair protein staining. Image A is showing endometrial glands and the stoma in between the glands. Some cells of the glands are showing expression for MSH6 protein whereas some, uh, some cells are showing loss of expression of this protein. The stoma cells are served as internal control. MSB is showing case with a loss of MSH6 mismatch repair protein, nucleus staining in the small groups of whole glands. In this image we can see stromal cells, endometrial glands. The endometrial glands are showing loss of expression of MSH6 protein. MSC is showing case with loss of MSH6 mismatch repair protein in a large areas of whole glands. The blue arrow is showing uh, endometrial glands showing a loss of MSH6 repair protein. Cases reported by pathologists as complete loss of MMR protein expression. Four cases demonstrating isolated subclonal staining were reported by pathologists from institution as exhibiting complete loss of staining of MMR proteins. All four cases involved subclonal loss of MLH1 or PMS2. Loss of staining was seen in 10% to 60% of tumor area and encompassed a range from complete loss of nucleus staining in a small subset of entire glands to complete loss of nucleus staining across large areas of tumor. Two of four cases were sent for MLH1 promoter methylation analysis and in both cases, MLH1 promoter methylation was detected. The remaining two cases underwent genetic testing for Lynch syndrome without MLH1 promoter methylation testing. Image A is showing MLH1 expression in tumoral cells and the stomal cells in between the glands, but the glands are showing loss of expression of MLH1 protein. Image B is showing endometrial glands with showing a positive expression for MSH6 protein. Cases with subclonal MMR protein staining in combination with complete loss of staining of other MMR proteins. 18 of 48 cases with subclonal MMR protein staining displayed subclonal staining of MMR protein in combination with complete loss of staining of other MMR protein. 15 cases showed complete loss of staining of MLH1 PMS2, 13 in combination with subclonal expression of MSH6 and 2 in combination with MSH2 MSH6. The remaining 3 cases presented with the complete loss of MSH2 MSH6, 2 in combination with subclonal expression of MLH1 PMS2 and 1 in with subclonal expression of PMS2 alone. Coming to discussion. Universal screening of endometrial carcinomas for Lynch syndrome as endorsed by National Comprehensive Cancer Network guideline and joint guidelines from American College of Obstetric and Gynecologists and Society of Gynecology and Oncology has led to the identification of unusual patterns of immunohistochemical staining of MMR proteins. 48 of 455 cases were identified as displaying some degree of subclonal staining ranging from 1% to 80% of loss of staining and included all three patterns of subclonal staining resulting in 10.5% of prevalence of subclonal staining observed in this study. Cases with subclonal staining were categorized based on the absence or presence of concomitant complete loss of other MMR protein and subsequently by the reporting status issued by pathologist from the institution. This study emphasized the importance of reporting the presence of subclonal MMR protein staining in endometrial carcinomas, especially ones that exhibit loss of MMR protein staining involving entire glands and large areas of tumor, that is pattern 2 and pattern 3. 
because it may carry the same weight as reporting complete loss of nucleus staining of MMR proteins. This manner of reporting in, in turn triggers the appropriate clinical follow-up and additional testing for identification of patients with Lynch syndrome. In summary, this study reveals the, that Lynch syndrome germline mutation can be detected in endometrial carcinoma patients whose tumor displays pure subclonal MMR protein staining. The results of this study stress the importance of reporting a subclinical staining pattern to ensure appropriate clinical follow-up and investigation for the exclusion of Lynch syndrome. Coming to abstract introduction, screening of endometrial carcinomas by mismatch repair protein immunohistochemistry permits the detection of microsatellite instability phenotype due to mutation in the MMR genes. These are MLH1, MSH2, MSH6, and PMS2. The current College of American Pathologist reporting guideline for mismatch repair protein immunohistochemistry for Lynch syndrome screening considers the presence of any positive nuclear staining as intact MMRP expression. This would include tumors with combined areas of subclonal retention and loss of MMRP staining. Materials and methods. This study retrospectively reviewed 455 consecutive MMRP immunohistochemistry results of endometrial carcinoma in hysterectomy specimen from 2012 through 2017 and identified cases with subclonal MMRP staining. These results were correlated with patients' personal and family history of Lynch syndrome associated carcinomas, MLH1 promoter methylation status, and Lynch syndrome genetic testing. Coming to results, Subclonal staining of MMRP was uh, seen in 48 of 455 cases on review. 30 cases demonstrated isolated subclonal uh, staining and were reported by pathologists as follows. Subclonal complete MMRP loss and intact MMRP. 18 cases had subclonal staining in combination with complete loss of other MMRP. Cases reported as subclonal or, or complete MMRP loss had appropriate clinical follow-up. Two of the two cases with isolated subclonal MSH6 loss tested positive for Lynch syndrome. One of the three cases with isolated subclonal MLH1 PMS2 loss was negative for MLH1 promoter methylation. Lynch syndrome genetic testing was not performed because of the cost. Objective to evaluate the clinical significance of reporting staining pattern of MMRP immunohistochemistry in endometrial carcinoma. Conclusion. This study reveals that Lynch syndrome germline, germline mutation can be detected in endometrial carcinoma patients whose tumor displays sole uh, subclonal MR, MMRP staining. This study stress importance of uh, reporting subclonal staining patterns to ensure appropriate clinical follow-up. Thank you.